Yeah, hi. Uh, welcome all to Click Your Online Training. I am Amit Kumar. Will be a trainer. Uh, before to start with, uh, let me uh, let me introduce uh, myself. I have uh, more than ten years of experience as a solution architect and project manager. I'm into CMMI level company in India. Uh, I'm also working professional as well as uh, this is my uh, you know part time job. Uh, so I used to involve myself in ClickQ, uh, Tableau, MicroStrategy, MSPA, and other ETL tools like uh, Talent and Informatica trainings. So I hope uh, you all uh, like my session. Okay. So before to uh, start with, let me uh, tell you why we are here. Like what would be the agenda of today's session? I'll be showing you uh, the presentation, which would uh, not uh, take uh, too much time, and then I'll move on to the ClickQ uh, desktop personal edition in order to show you the dashboards, and uh, I'll give you the glimpse of uh, how ClickQ, uh, you know, uh, dashboards looks like, how ClickQ BI reports looks like, so that after this session you'll be having a you know broader knowledge that what is the BI is all about, and uh, You'll also have the knowledge of what would be the upcoming sessions, and after completion of the session, what would be you will be, you know, what knowledge you'll be obtaining. Okay. So, uh, what is ClickQ? Before to go to the ClickQ, uh, you know, core business intelligence area, I would like to focus a uh, few points on the data warehousing part. Okay. I think all of you are in technical background. So, I would like to say that, you know, normally in a real-time scenario, every application, how it performs, there's a transaction between the data source and the front end. I'm talking about the real world, okay. Say you consider SAP, you consider PeopleSoft, you consider any business application, okay. They should have a database like Oracle, SQL Server, or uh, DB2, or any other database. Okay, they must have a database and there's a front end. So it's all about the real world application, uh, you know, arena. One database, one front end. Now, why we, uh, you know, focus into BI then? If it's application development, uh, BI comes into picture, picture when uh, we focus on the reporting. And when uh, we found that the application, uh, you know, uh, of a real world application, they are not able to cater the intelligence report as far as the business need. In that time, the this kind of BA tools has introduced. Now, I'd like to focus being a BA professional or being a reporting uh, professional like a ClickQ developer, where will be our prime role in this architecture? Okay. You can see the different type of you know uh, activities here like data acquisition, data integration, data warehouse, analytics, and presentation. Okay, so let me give you a glimpse of these uh, you know various sections. Data acquisition is a process of extracting the data from the you know uh, database to a front end. Okay. Normally, if you are requesting a report in a web browser, how the browser act upon? It sends your request to the backend like this, this, and this. Okay. So every application, as I said, it must have a database. So it sends a request to the database, and it's get you the you know response to the UI when it, when it retrieves the report to the front end. This is all about the normal application part. But if your database would be too huge, just imagine I have a company, say, which is running since 30 years, and every day at least around you know 2,000 to 3,000 records are getting inserted to the database. Just imagine after 30 years, what would be the bulkiness of that data? So in that case, if we request a report from the front end, what is the expected time that the report will respond to the UI. It will be very difficult to answer. So in that case, 
the business intelligence is introduced okay so let me tell you being analytics professional will be working on this layer only in analytics and presentation this two layer basically our core application uh, no core, core business analytics part will be this analytics sections so we'll have a you'll be provided in the real world also when you go for a job you will be also provided a data warehouse which should be an integrated database okay so it's not mandatory always you will be provided the data warehouse but you can also be provided a normal uh, spreadsheets excel spreadsheets you can also get a chance to work on normal sql server database oracle database or in some cases you can get data warehouse so can any of you uh, have an idea on what is data warehouse Uh, no, I am not clear about it. Okay, so data warehouse as the name is somewhat self-explanatory warehouse is a you know stories of a big or bulky resources. Okay, and data warehouse means it's a collection or integration of various databases and you're storing all those data into a single database. Say for example, in your company, you are working for a big insurance company, suppose. So being a company, they should have a different uh, systems, application systems. Like one should be their attendance system, one should be their payroll, one should be their uh, core business application for insurance or policy making applications. One should be their canteen application, one should be their any other uh, XYZ applications. Now, being a management, I would not expect, uh, you know, to see the reports by going to different, different applications. So I want my report to be, my organization's entire A to Z reports to be available to me in a single window in my iPad. In that case, how do I integrate various applications? Okay, that's a big question. So in that case, data warehouse comes into picture. Say this is the database of my HR payroll where the salary is processing. This is the ERP where I used to uh, I used to you know create the orders. I used to create the uh, policies being an insurance company. And this is the portal where I used to take the online order from the customers. Now there are three different applications. So they have three different databases. In this case. Being a management, I want to see what are the employees. My company's employees have the NTD or have the data in three different applications. My company employee, which is having the unique ID called employee ID, they are also having the employee ID in these three different different databases. Now, based upon that employee, uh, which is a key entity in these three different databases, I can join these three databases into a single database. So based on this employee performance, I can get the employee salary from uh, HR database. I can get that particular employee, how many insurance he made. I can also get that against that employee, how many business have been made or how many sales have been made from this database. Okay. So I will just extract the data from three databases and just here this is the data integration part for this we we'll have to use some ETL tool like uh, SSIS or talent or Informatica like that so which will integrate these three databases and will will finally create a single database which would be the integration of these three different databases that's what we call as a data warehouse am I going faster are you able to catch yeah you are okay we are able to talk now any question on this you have got the knowledge on what is data warehouse yeah uh, yeah yeah thank you yeah i understood it now okay so data warehouse is not it's a collection or integration of various different different databases in a single platform say i would have a database in sql server i would have another erp database in oracle i would have another agent database in excel 
then from a BI tool, how I can get the relationship, how I can integrate these three different databases which is in three different platforms. In that case, ATL tool uses this must through ATL tools. I can get the data from three different data sources and I can form a data warehouse which is a single platform database. It may be a SQL Server, maybe Oracle, maybe DB2 or anything else. Now our role being an analytics professional will start from here. We'll be provided a database, integrated database. From this database we need to fetch the data to ClickView which is a BI tool or analytics tool and then we need to create the reports and that reports can be accessible by marketing professionals, customers or agents or hire management. Make sense? Yeah. So this, this will be our broad focus on the entire sessions to extract the data and to represent the data in a very layman term. Okay, we are not going to insert the data to database, we are not going to do any transaction to the database because BI is just about loading the data and representing the data in form of reports. Okay, now moving to next slide. These are the listed uh, BI tools in the market, SAP BI, BO, IBM, uh, Cognos, uh, Microsoft Analytics Services, Pentaho and all. So these are all the BI tools. Apart from that, ClickView is one of the most special and highest demanding tool in the market now. Let me tell you why, what are the unique selling point of ClickView and these are listed here. ClickView provides high-end graphical looks. So graphical looks means say I will give you Excel or I'll give you a list of numbers in a notepad and I'll ask you to find out the minimum and the maximum one. In that case, how much time you'll be needing? You need to put your own intelligence to organize them, okay, or to match them individually with each other. But if I'll show you a bar chart where 10 or 15 bars would be there and they should have a different figures. In that case, how much time you'll be taking to find out the minimum and maximum one? Definitely, in case of your visual analytics or graphical analytics, your decision can be faster and you don't have to put pressure on your brain. Am I right? So, that's why instead of normal reporting or textual reporting, we are following visual reporting and this is what the click is all about. The next is all data, so the data are stored in memory and process from there as the results become faster. In, in a uh, web applications, which is not a business analytics tool, when we request a report, it you know sends a request to the database, process from there, again send back to the browser and show the report to you, which takes a lot of time or which takes the entire browser to be refreshed. If you have, you know, if you have a lot of data, if you have a huge number of data in that case, you have to in this case you have to, uh, you know, use a uh, Ajax or you have to go for a better bandwidth in order to show the data in the browser. But still it is slower. But if you have a very huge amount of data like 30 years data records, it will be difficult to show in the browser. Maybe your application will be hanged or it might take a huge time. In that case, BA is come to picture. BA does not directly interact to database. Like click you, uh, kind of BA tools, they have two different kind of modes, either uh, synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous means for a small type of database, small database, we can directly connect to database and get the data for reporting. But in 
big in case of big database we just fetch the data in form of some offline files like excel so click you has its own offline data source called qbd okay the data source uh, format is qbd click you data so that data source will be you know fetching the entire tables or the list of tables from the database and store in the click you front end and for the further processing you load the data from that qbd files only so in that case it does not interact with the database which is there in the remote server every time at when you request for a report in the click you front end install it so why because the data is there in the front end okay that's all about the storing data into the in memory and then traditional bi tool work with views like we have to create the views by joining the tables in in the database and we need to fetch the view to front end this is with other bi tools but in click you as i said we have to load individual tables in form of individual qvd files and further we need to join those qvd files to perform or to create a you know schema or to create a table joining structure in the front end if you are a fresher you might have to you know face little difficulties here for understanding so don't worry i'll go to the practical i'll show you what are the points what i told this all will be showing okay makes associative connection associative connection means when you load those qvd files or tables to click you memory click you automatically join the tables if it find there is a common column between the tables say in employee table i have employee id which is common and and uh, in salary table we have also employee id against which we have different salary records so if you load these two tables employee and salary to click you in memory it will automatically join them based on the employee id because it find there is a common key field that's what the associative connection is click you interface available in windows a way one mobile so that when you develop the application it would be in form of windows applications in order to uh, uh, in order to uh, share the application with anyone else which is there in the remote you can host your click you with the click you application i mean uh, click you uh, server which is a hosting environment and from there any number of user can access the application in a web browser then mobile interface so as you host this application to a web uh, you know a cloud platform you can also access your dashboard in your mobile uh, uh, interface it can be ipad it can be uh, iphone or android phone so those can be accessed for that you need to install a application called click mobile okay it is available on uh, you know android market or windows market or all okay you can download and there you can open the click your applications and for deployment click is much more compatible in windows server because it is itself is developed in through microsoft.net and for easy integration with any number of database click you can be easily integrated with any number of database in the world any time it can be a sql server database it can be oracle it can be IBM DB2, it can be PostgreSQL, any database, you know, all those databases can be integrated with ClickQ for reporting. This is what the associative connection is. And the benefit of association is all the tables can be you know filtered based on any criteria say the left side we have 
normal views. I have joined four tables, region, state, product and salesperson. Regions are like north, south, east, west and all. Then we have a list of states and products accordingly. So in order to get the salesperson detail, I have to first select a region. Then I'll get the states, then I'll get product and so on. So there's a protocol I need to follow in other traditional BA tools. But in ClickQ, if it is association, ClickQ will automatically join the tables in a way that whichever the table you select in the front end from the filter, all other tables records will be, you know, refreshed or filtered accordingly. So in that case, being a layman, you don't have to follow any specific protocol for selection. I'll also show you how the filter works in ClickQ, how the association works. So this is all about the theory, just have an idea on this. So in the entire session, we'll be working on these three different products of ClickQ. ClickQ Developer, Publisher and Server. ClickQ Developer is a development tool, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is a window-based platform. It is also available on click.com free of cost, which is a personal edition. You can download it. You can start having the hands on this. So in the uh, development, we'll be working on click to developer. It is used for development of the application. This is called, a, so, you know, this is also IDE or integrated development environment. Now, Publisher is a scheduling engine. Scheduling engine means it is, uh, you know, automatically reload your dashboard in a specific interval of time. So, as I said, dashboard does not uh, connect the data to uh, live database. So, in order to make the performance faster, we just fetch the data from the database once or twice in a day and then we store those data from the database into QVD files which is storing in the click frontend and we are uh, loading the data from there give me one second uh, someone is knocking Yeah, I came back. So, uh, I hope guys, uh, I'm not going much more faster and all of you are able to catch it. You can also stop me anytime to have any queries. So, Publisher is a scheduling engine which will refresh our dashboard every morning or the time which we will specify. What we do, we fetch the data of the database when the database server is very least used by users and we refresh our dashboard early in the morning so that the business user will come at 9 a.m. at the office and they will see the reports. So every morning this report will be refreshed for the business user. So as you are not directly connecting with the database every time this is the process we need to follow okay and this refreshing operation is done by publisher 
it is a kind of scheduler. And the ClickQ server is a hosting platform just like a Tomcat for Java, IAS for .NET. So ClickQ server is used to install in a server operating system or in a, or, or in a you know, dedicated machine with a high configuration of hardware. And uh, when you complete your development, you need to host your application or dashboard to this ClickQ server. You need to deploy there so that other user can concurrently access your dashboard by accessing to server. Just like it will generate a URL through which other users can see your dashboard through their web browsers. That is the use of ClickQ server. Okay. This is a software which needs to be installed in a, in a, in a dedicated machine which would be running around the clock. Am I clear so far? Any questions? Okay. Now, coming to the next screen, this is, we have the ClickQ architecture. This is showing the process that where we will start working. There are three different servers here. First one is this is your uh, database server. This is your development server where you will be working as a developer. And this is the production or live server where the application will be hosted. Your work, work will be started from here. You need to install ClickQ Desktop, which is a developer application. And there you need to load the data from Excel or any other database, then perform reporting. So this would be the location where we'll be keeping our dashboards. In that uh, locations, our dashboard, which will be saving in form of uh, a flat file, their file format is QVW. ClickQ dashboard format or extension is QVW. QVW stands for ClickView Workbook. I repeat, ClickView Workbook. And the data format which will be bringing from database and storing here in the front end is called QVD. QVD stands for ClickView Data. Okay. It is just like Excel but it is highly compressed than Excel and it is a own database of ClickQ. So fetching the data from QVD is much more time faster than fetching the data boss data from any other data source. Now this data fetching operations starts from here, from data source to here. And so data is uh, loaded from this data source and stored in this QVD every time, every morning. This is the operation. So the time of development, what you can do, we can load it from the database, but when you make the application live, someone has to be there to load the database automatically. So that automatic operation is done through the intermediate software called ClickQ Publisher. So far it is clear. So click your publisher will reload your dashboard in order to fetch the latest data every morning to the front end. Then once your development is completed, the same source code will be migrated to production server and there we call it as user documents. These are the documents which will be available to user. And from this production server, we do some necessary configurations in the ClickQ server, which is this one. This is the ClickQ server. And the server is responsible to give the 
access to end users who will request for dashboard who will see the dashboard in a web browser these are the clients those will be seeing the dashboards in form of a web browsers now this is all about the architecture so our work will be starting here then we'll deploy in publisher then we i mean configure in publisher for automatic data loading then we deploy in server and finally client will access it anybody has any question on this okay now going forward here when you start working this is the workflow how our work will be started and which sequence will move on you'll be provided the list of data source to create the report from them either it can be text file xml sql excel or anything or qvd also so from those data file you need to use a click queue development uh, software that is your click queue desktop there you need to create the dashboard reporting all the programming you have to do there and once it is completed you need to configure your dashboard in publisher for automatic data loading and then <coughs> you need to host your application into click queue server for concurrent access of n number of users across a web browser then finally the output which will come to user is click queue access point click queue access point is a you know a proprietary login page of click queue so which click queue dashboards can be viewed it is a kind of portal which is created by click queue and you need to log in to this portal to see your dashboard this is what we have the click queue access point those credentials for logging to this portal will be created in the click queue server only whoever will log in which dashboards they will be seeing all those configurations has to be done in the server then finally when you log in to the access point you will be seeing your dashboard which is also called as click queue analyzer because you have to do the analysis there okay now this is what we have the click queue access point it looks like this this is my production server then we have to write server name which is ip address slash click queue then automatically it will take you to this screen and you must have a login id and password which you have been provided by the click queue administrator and once you log into this portal you can see all your dashboard which is hosted here in internet then you can click one and you can see your dashboard like this you have a pie chart you have a google map analysis you have a bar chart and you have a filters here you have a month wise filters so various options are there you can click a filter accordingly other your details will be filtered so the difference between normal reporting and bi is in reporting i'll give you excel i'll give you a pdf file or i'll give you a word file that's a report you can just see that but in dashboard or in bi this is not only only for watching to the report you can also put your input say i will select january february march i can select this based on this entire dashboard will be filtered and thus it would you know get the data according to this three months so that's why we, that is what we call also slicing and dicing that can be done through the bi which is not possible in normal reporting reporting tools are like excel pdf word file crystal report whichever the file which you are providing uh, information to the end user that's what we call as a report it can be anything but bi is the dashboards where you can do slicing and dicing you can filter the data you can put your analysis to get the data filtered accordingly okay these are the list of 
uh, charts available on Clickio. Based on this, I can have a various type of beautiful uh, charts, say for bar chart. It looks one, but by changing the properties of Clickio, I can create various type of bar charts, like horizontal, vertical, tiled, you know, bar chart and the stacked bar chart. So different type of uh, properties are there. Likewise, others are also. <coughs> Excuse me. So as I said, click you will join the tables and make the relationship in the front end. Okay. And those relationship will be automatically uh, made if click you find there is a common key between the tables. Now here is example. This window is a click you inline table viewer where you can see the tables are automatically joined by click you see this is a table this is a table where the field is common called unique id they are automatically joined this is a table and this table which the common field is wr case so now they have joined so finally it forms a schema it is called a schema or a view where all the tables are related and i can refer the data of this table by clicking the information from this table Okay, so that's why the joining is necessary. And these are a few other screens of uh, dashboards. I will not take much time for uh, showing you the presentation. Let's go to have a you know, glimpse of how click you uh, dashboard looks like. This is my click you uh, desktop. Now, you can create a new dashboard by clicking this new or new document. Then first thing you have to do is you have to edit this one. Edit this. This is the window you can do the designings. You have to edit here to go to see the scripts. Then you can connect to either OLDB database or any kind of data based server or you can open a Excel file also. Open table file. You can choose Excel or QVD or this is my QVD file. Now finish and you can reload it. Say, I'll just give the path and save it. What is a QBD file means is a data file? Yeah, it's a data file. Okay. So individual tables are here. Individual tables of database is considered to be one one QBD. I may have QBD, I may not have. I can simply select the data from database I can show here. But this will not be a good approach if you have a very big database. So in that so case you select the Excel file now or yeah yeah you can select Excel as well. Okay. So you you can also try with Excel. Okay. The how it knows the layout? I'm coming. Yeah. Sorry. So, are you? Did you define the layout? Yeah, I have some did Excel. Define the layout. Like the... for layout means uh, for designing or what? Say I have some Excel databases here. No, it is reading your data. Hmm. Reading data. These okay. are Excel databases. Say I'll choose the product database. Okay, this one. Which of the database you can? Product customer transactions. This is the transaction databases. <laughs> and finish. Now I'll just save it and reload it. And I can see this table which I will reloaded. It is loaded to my internal memory. So click you. At the runtime, it does not interact to the database. It stores the entire data to its internal memory, just like storing into RAM. Okay. Now I can just press Control T for see the table here. See, this is the table which I have auto. <coughs> excuse me. Reloaded to the internal table table here. I can preview the data which is here. Now I'll just load another table. customer table finish C 
CST. I'll just give the name of this table CST, and this is trans transaction. Now, as you find, this table has a relationship with this cost code, cost code. Automatically, these two will be joining. Reload and see. Click here automatically join these two tables. This is pretty interesting. So I mean, when you load, mm -hmm. yeah, tell me. I have one question. When you loaded the TBD, it automatically reads the uh, column names and the uh, yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, it, it is not different anywhere. What are the columns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is normally Excel you can also connect to database. So I'm I'm choosing another uh, table called product. Finish. Customer master, product master, and transaction master. So I'll give this table name as. Now I didn't do anything. In normally database, I need to use different type of joinings, left, right, outer, inner join, and all to join the tables but in click here automatically it finds the common name okay now it will join the tables see it will be relationship automatically they join because this is equal with this and this is equal with this now even though these three tables are separate but I can relate the data from this table to this table I can find that which particular customers order which product this is customer table this is product table there is no direct relationship but I can also get that which customer has ordered which product through this transaction table because they are related this is what we have the internal table viewer and the data stored into this viewer is in memory see this is also table viewer in the coding script editor here we have a table viewer now you can see the data of these tables now, based on the data, you can go for designing and all. So, these are tables and this is the relationship individually. You can also connect to any database server like here you connect it. You connect to SQL server. You connect to Oracle or you connect to any other database. Next, you give the server name, username and password like SQL Server is my I am giving the SQL Server credentials test connection succeeded I can see all the databases in my SQL Server data ok like I said choose order DB ok sorry so it creates a connection string automatically here and this is the connection string which is automatically created now based on this connection string only I am just commenting these three tables which I loaded from excel based on the connection string I can join to tables I can connect to those tables of the database select now I can see there are three different tables in this order DB database in SQL Server if I am selecting one order detail it is automatically writing the query select start from table ok now I will press ok the script is loaded now just save and reload you can see here the table is loaded and I am getting thousands of record based on this we can go for designing there are different type of controls list box for filter statistic box multi box different type of charts are here lot of charts okay. you can create some chart, charts and designing and a lot of things are there so it's a ocean so very big tool it's an enterprise level tool now I'll show you some of the uh, you know dashboards. Which we used to create for the you know training sessions. So this is a cash flow dashboard. Here you can see the visualizations, how beautiful it is. 
there are the different filters here you can select a particular filter say I'll select a country called Austria I, I get all this data filtered I'll select the industry again I'll say all this data filtered again like you see this comparison reports just clear the window and I can see lot of filters here lot of charts here okay I'll select region America country Canada I'll select the sector is healthcare now based on this I can get the other filters I'll select this one the comparison I'll select the sector is healthcare so based on this comparison this you know charts is filtering you can choose anything so based on that other charts will get filtered so that's the beauty of click here. and now we can see this is the visualizations now if you press ctrl T to see the tables behind the report see these are the tables and these tables are related to each other because based on the click your association mechanism they can be directly connected to database or this they could have connected through the QVD because if the database is small then you can directly connect there's no issue but if your database is too huge say you have a table which is 30 GB in that case it is not a better decision to directly fetch the data from database in this case either your database will be hampered or hanged up or your BA will be hanged up okay in that case what you're doing we are creating QVD files so QVD is an offline data source file which will be fetched from the database early in the morning where the user is not using to the database server so that data will be come into the ClickU frontend will be storing it into a single folder inside my dashboard and will be loaded the data from those QVD files QVD files are like this here these these are excel files now I will be showing you your QVD files yeah these are the QVD files it is the tables these are the tables of database so we are not joining the tables in the database side we are not creating the views in the database we are fetching the entire tables to the front end here and we are creating the relationship in the front end by joining the tables like as I shown okay database data are as they are in front, front form of QVDs so this is my dashboard I have this dashboard here in the application folder I've just started creating a dashboard I have various layers this is the extraction layer which is used to connect to database for fetching the data from database to create a QVD file and the QVD files are stored here in this data folder then we load these QVD files into the transformation layer here this is called data model and here we join those QVDs and form a relationship and then that relationship will be loaded to task in the front end for visualizations that is overall we have the click view concepts any doubt on this any questions this is one of the dashboard uh, you can see for the training purpose we have created in the training sessions we have created these dashboards see all these reports are there this is the first page of the dashboard when you move on to the next you can see all your attributes I can filter anything here I can filter some items based on this I can see the different calculations here I can filter by months and I can see the data accordingly see the chart is varying 
I'm changing the months, the chart is varying. How beautiful it is. This is a line chart, this is a tabular report, these are the pie charts. I can simply click the any section of the pie chart, others are getting filtered. So that's what the beauty of click you. So they are all interactive, interactive reports. This is combo chart, this is you know bubble chart. So likewise we have a lot of controls. This is your gauge chart, gauge based on this your gauge needles will be changing on the calculations. In first three months I have this revenue. In one month of March I have these revenues and so on. So this is all about uh, the basics of ClickQ. So I think you have got the idea that how the ClickQ dashboards looks like and the business analytics looks like and what all you will be learning in the sessions. I hope you would have liked the sessions. If you have any questions before to conclude the session, I, I would like to hear from you. Yes, funnel chart is also there in ClickQ. Yeah. This is what we have the funnel chart. This one is the funnel chart. Okay. Based on the volume of the data, the sections will be bigger and smaller. So it is customizable up to any extent and you can create the enterprise level dashboards with a very easy approach. You can see the table behind these uh, dashboards. There are three tables, order detail, order and customers. They are connected. So that's what from uh, my end. Uh, anybody have any questions before I conclude the session today? Yeah, where is this tool mostly used in like in what sectors? In banking sector, insurance, banking, retail, insurance, retail. healthcare, retail. These are the most powerful sectors as of now. Healthcare is one of the biggest. Insurance sector, uh, banking sector, and uh, you know retails and uh, telecoms. And these are the most popular sectors, mining, whichever the GIS, whichever the sector you prefer and whichever the data you have. In most of the sectors, uh, preferring the BA reporting because application, if you have applications, you know, transition applications, application is not sufficient enough to show the intelligent report as far as the BA is concerned. Okay, So that's why we need a dedicated BA tool for reporting specially. You have application separately, you have a SAP which is a front-end application, but SAP is not sufficient to create the report as beautiful as this click queue is. Okay, so that's why we are preferring dedicated BA tools in the market for reporting only. And nowadays application development is almost came to a saturated point. Now it's an era of reporting and everyone is needing reporting professional in the company. So that's why the job demand is also very high. Um, if I want to, you know, more elaborate training or, you know, uh, if I want to know more, you know, what are the other sources, you know, any other platform for me to learn more or? Uh, you need a very basic uh, database knowledge because uh, this is all about the extracting the data and uh, representing the data. So before we join to the live sessions also, if you have the basic knowledge of data, that's okay or else I will also uh, you know, uh, communicate. Uh, I'll also touch to that sectors for data. You know, data preparations. Okay. Is it something with uh, Cognos like that? BA two. Cognos is also a BA tool for from uh, uh, you know from uh, IBM. So this is any like major difference between the ClickQ and uh, Cognos? Uh, in, uh, in nowadays, ClickQ and Tableau, these are most popular as far as as compared to any other tool. Uh, so uh, Cognos is also good, but you know it's not good as ClickQ because it's one of the most demanding because it is high in performance and its market capital is very high nowadays. Uh, which prior skill is needed? Like, do I need to know like SQL and all? Very, as I said, very basic uh, SQL is needed. 
but not so enterprise level because you don't have to write a SQL queries here. Okay, so those all things you have to learn will be completely new for you. Okay, so just table attributes, some joinings is required. If at all it's not, uh, uh, if you have not cover also, I'll touch base all those things in the sessions. Oh, so do you cover? Or like what exactly the data warehouse and all this. So basically yeah, this tool will be integrated yeah, to data warehouse? Or? Yeah, yeah, I mean uh, data warehouse is a domain where the reporting is a part. Okay. Data warehouse is a part of, you know, domain, separate domain which is data integration and making a integrated database. That's what the data warehouse is. And analytics is a domain from the data warehouse. We pull the data and prepare the reporting. That's what the data warehouse is. I have one basic question. I always have a confusion the difference between mm -hmm. report and dashboard. What exactly dashboard? Means? I always have a confusion. I mean, I know it's dashboard. Basic and my question is, say, what is the dashboard of our car? I have a steering, brake, clutch, like a different type of you know uh, elements, right? So, likewise, here I have it's not a normal report. I can see only. I can see my uh, charts which is a type of elements I can click it okay it's controlling if uh, controlling from my end I have the filters I can select it I have the calendar I can choose the date from it okay I have the search options I can filter the item from it so it's a heterogeneous mixture of different type of elements I can select a particular order say order number is uh, 2 then I can print this order print report see this is I, I can print it in a convo invoice so composition of different type of elements and putting into your thought process and putting into your analy analytics is what I call as a dashboard it's not a normal report if I will say this is a normal report I can only see it I cannot do anything here but I can do a lot of things here I can filter the dashboard based on the quantity what are the items available based on this quantity Okay, so based on my input, it is reflecting and giving me the output. That's what we call as a analytics. In PDF report, Excel report, TXT report, XML report, you can only see this. Okay, you cannot slice and dicing it. Okay, so that's what my concept is, and I can put my intelligence, I can put my uh, interventions to change the dashboard. I can also customize the query here dynamically. That's what the dashboarding is. I'm just customizing it, right? I'm just selecting it now in build. The query is changing to show so me the dashboard, right? So that's what the ad hoc query. Sure. Thank you. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Uh, if at all you would have liked the session, I would, uh, you know, like um, all of you to see in the live sessions. Yeah, anyone is asking. What other, what other training do you I what also, other training do you offer? Do you have any other training? Oh, uh, who's this? Rithika, right? Uh, I'm sorry? Menu, who's this? This is Harita. Harita, okay. So, uh, I do provide, uh, uh, you know, ClickQ, Tableau, MicroStrategy and uh, MSBI. Okay. Uh, in, in here, here only in the same same web website, same place. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, your name please. Sorry, uh, Amit. Amit Kumar. Amit, Amit. Actually, I had some internet problem. I was not able to cover. Like mm -hmm. is something I can, uh, um, I can get the recorded session of this demo. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, I need to contact you or I need to contact someone? Mm, uh, this is, this is who's like, Hari, right? Uh, this is uh, Lakshmi. This is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll share the video recording with uh, 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 the organizer. Uh, uh, you can also get it. I think you have the email ID, so you can share also here. Okay guys, so uh, thank you so much. I will uh, get back to you and hopefully I will be expecting you to see in the live sessions. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you.